the final question we had for question 32 on improving performance was demonstrate how initial planning considerations are used by a coach of an elite team in order to ensure optimal performance for his team. 12 marks. So what we're looking at here is initial planning considerations. We go and view our syllabus. We've got right here initial planning considerations. These are the three areas that were required that boys need to put in there. We're going to look at our sample, which is a very long sample, so we'll move through it quite quickly. But initial planning considerations enable coaches to effectively assess the needs and benefits of athletes during a training year and for performance. So the coach considers the athlete's performance and fitness needs, the individual and the team. Both are included in there, specific from the syllabus. The needs are implemented by the coach according to the database on athletes' correct performance, uh, previous, uh, current or previous performances, sorry. So this data helps the coach make training safe and relevant based on how they've been performing, well balanced, both skill and fitness, and structured for practice and improvement. We'll just, we'll just move down slightly, and we'll just see here, he's still talking about um, what needs to be done. Um, talks about, you know, in the case of an elite team, a coach would try to develop communication, ability and strategies and tactics for the team. For instance, an NRL coach saying. So there's his example of an elite team being the NRL. So a lot of boys are writing in an elite team. No, I want a specific elite team given. So in NRL, we know that we're talking about elite. If, you're, if you just mention rugby league, you could be talking about under 10s, you could be talking about first grade. The fact that these students put NRL, we know that he's specifically talking about an elite team. Talks about the need for a focus on defensive strategies. So he's going through and relates it specifically to what his team needs. Also regarding the elite team, talks about the coach would focus on a high fitness development. Again, so he's relating it to what the fitness individual and team requirements would be. If we go down further, and it just says a coach um, would, in, um, would instill a plan through the, the, sorry, the coach would initially plan the schedule of events and competitions for optimal performance. The schedule of events is affected by the structure of competitions, phases, and major events. A coach would um, would care for the schedule of events, carefully place the schedule of events in an effective so to prevent over or under or underloading the athletes in terms of training volume. In the case of the elite team, a coach would have a very high focus on preparation as to account for the reigning, um, different competition schedules at playing. For instance, an NRL coach of an elite team would plan according to the finals in, in September and ensure that the athletes peak at the stage and thus uh, optimal performance. All right, so again, he's related to a specific team. Then he talks about climate and um, season. Again, you can tell it would be highlighted at the back. It just doesn't come up in the scanning. Okay, the coach would consider the climate and season, can help cater for training in, in adverse comp, uh, conditions. This can change the climate and the season, can have an effect on training loads as it's too hot or too cold, can be safe to train at a certain amount. As a result, the coach would make sure correct training for the elite team. Um, so we keep moving ourselves down, to, again, talking about in injuries and avoiding them. So an example here, this would be that an NRL coach making the decision to train his elite team in the late afternoon as opposed to the scorching heat at noon. This in turn reveals that the coach has considered the effects of dehydration and pr premature fatigue, and this ensured optimal performance. So again, he's made specific mention to the elite team, being NRL in this case, and he's gone through and he's covered it quite well. All areas of the syllabus were included. Um, for me, the issue was, boys, in this response, and I'm going to go to the syllabus to show this, we were after initial planning considerations. We had students writing about planning a training year, zero, and we had students writing about elements to be considered when designing a training session. Again, the wording from the question, if we go and have a look at it, demonstrate how initial planning considerations, initial planning considerations, that's got to be the alarm bell. This is why Mr. Sullivan and I make you write the syllabus out, so you should know that as soon as that dot point was in, or that part of the question came up, your focus is on performance and fitness needs, schedule of events, competitions, climate and season. Um, the other part for this question too, which probably wasn't as well answered as the others, 
I thought examples were poor in this response. Um, confusing dot points. Examples were poor, poor throughout um, and needed to relate to an elite team. So an NFL team, uh, the English Premier League, especially when talking about scheduling of events and competitions, the English, you know, the Premier League soccer teams are in that many different competitions, the FA Cup, Champions League, Europa Cup, their own EPL competition. There's a real good example of some scheduling. You could talk about the well, you know, the Australian cricket team, the different competitions they play in, 220 to 50, the limited overs to the test matches throughout the year. Right? These are examples that could be included. Climate and season, you can be talking about the Cowboys compared to playing in Canberra. These are different examples that would come from an elite team because an under-10s football team or an under-10 soccer team, they're not really going to be scheduling events. It's the elite teams that need to do this. Um, and again, from the syllabus, you need to be writing 500 words on this dot point, three and a half pages. The detail was lacking.